Hey everyone, this is Grant Nader with State of the Spark and Spark Sites. Really quick, a lot of you have been asking about marketing. More and more of you are asking about Facebook ads. We still talk about blogging. You absolutely need to be blogging. Ads and inorganic traffic is not replaced, does not replace content marketing and organic traffic. Those are two different things. Check out our previous videos if you want to know about those. But real quick, this construct right here is really important for you guys to know. So I had a client, we were sitting across the table and we were talking about all the things we could do for them with uh, Facebook ads and, and different things. And they asked this question, listen, uh, it's too much Grant, it's too much. Can you just make the phone ring? Can you just make people walk in the door? And the answer is, is well, okay, like the knee check, the, the knee jerk reaction is no, no one can do that. But we could actually just get people walking in the door but it takes a lot of prep. And so what I want you to know is what's really going on with marketing, what's going on with the psychology of people, and the three major important stages of online marketing that someone typically has to go through. And so that's what we'll cover real quick right here. And then the four steps I have for you guys on basically how to get started if you want to go beyond just boosting your ad. Boosting your ad is all right, it's some exposure, but what's its context and what do you need to do to continue to nurture that same audience. So really quick, the first step is awareness. A lot of you want me to make someone walk in the door or pick up the phone and call you for a new gig or a new deal. The chances of that are very low for the app, for the money you're spending because they have, they have no idea who you are. They've never considered your service and now you want me to make them just pick up the phone. First off, people need to walk through an awareness. Who are you and do you even exist? It, could they remember? There's, a, there's a, a metric in Facebook called ad recall. And this simply means if they heard an audio jingle on Pandora that was playing or Spotify or saw your ad at the movie theater, they, they think, oh, I think I've seen these guys before. If you've been to the movies, you know this one. Dean Bernetti, working for God and you. That's ad recall. And we can put a percentage to each of the little ad presentations and what that does to cause people to remember your ad. Facebook has that metric, fantastic metric. Then we have consideration. Once they are aware, are they, they're now considering to do business with you. We're going to cover what these activities are really quick. And last but not least, conversion. Conversion is when someone's actually considering you, giving you money in exchange for something. Now, this construct is not mine. This construct actually comes from or presented in Facebook Ad Manager. You can check it out yourself. And so these activities are actually focused on the different types of Facebook ads you could use. But we know this for marketing in general. Someone has to get, when, when you've heard me say the statistic, about 27 exposures, right? So what they need is that awareness. You need to put 27 exposures because they're going to ignore two-thirds and only see nine of them. It's the nine ads that get them to begin to consider you and go, hmm, am I going to do business with this person? And then are we giving them the means to do that within, in, our, in this case, the Facebook environment? We could also be talking about Google ads. We could also be talking about handouts at uh, a marketplace in your area. So in short, brand awareness. When you do an ad, you're just, and you start with awareness, you're literally just hoping to rack up those brand impressions so that someone could go, I know I've heard of you somewhere. You want someone to say that more often than not. That's what your brand awareness posts are for. And then you could also just expand reach. Mostly, it's my friends of my friends that know who we are. I want my friends of my friends of my friends to know who we are. That's what brand reach ads are all about. Then consideration. This is when you actually want to increase traffic to your website. So piping from Facebook to website. And awareness ads, they usually don't leave Facebook. In consideration ads, they might leave Facebook with traffic. Engagement ads, this is when they start clicking likes, clicking shares. App installs, if you have an app to download, none of you guys really do. Video views, if you have a promo video, like we just saw Genie with the Beatnik Exchange, and they have a great promo video for the Beatnik Exchange. You want them to watch the entire video. That's, the type of, that's a type of ad for consideration of coming out to the Beatnik Exchange. And then lead generation, hey, sign up for this newsletter, get this free download, that sort of thing. Last but not least, conversion. Once someone has seen your ads and has seen, let's call it uh, 18 of your ads uh, over here and their impressions, then they start to see your other nine that they're conscious of. And these nine ads are causing them to consider it. And then of those nine ads, one of those ads is going to hook them later on for conversions. And so basically a conversion is as you'd expect. They see the ad and they go, no, now I want this service. So that's a direct conversion. Sometimes it's product catalog sales if you have a, a catalog of products. And sometimes it's just a straight up store visit. You know what, I've seen this ad, 
you know, 18 times and then another nine times, it's time this Saturday after church or whatever it is. We're just going to get in the car and go visit these guys. This is the process, and you want to walk them through this process. So when you sit in front of an ad, a Facebook ad manager like us and say, hey, can you make the phone ring? You want to do it on a dime, right? That's what we all want. We want to save money. But you haven't even gone through this process, so we can get there, but we've got to narrow it down. So here are the four steps I want you to walk through to start acquainting yourself with this. And check this out. Number one, set proper expectations. Know that if you are just starting Facebook ads, you are going to have to go through this process in some way, shape, or form. It's not a science. You're not forced to. We could just focus on conversion ads and just put all your money there. But the probabilities that someone converts are relatively low versus if you nurture that same demographic. Because when you do a Facebook ad, you can set the demographics. You can walk them and nurture them and warm them up to this. And then your dollars that you spend over here are going to have a higher conversion rate per dollar spent. So set proper expectations. Am I starting out? Great. I don't expect people to really buy from me. I just expect them to learn about me and so on. I say start. And once you've set your proper expectations of how you're spending your dollars, then just start. Just get an ad, set it for a week, and put a dollar a day for a week. You spent seven bucks, nothing, but you're starting to learn the tools. You're starting to learn how it works. And then what I want you to do after that seven days is study. Spend time looking over the data. Spend time looking over your demographics. Spend time seeing what the tools can do and study what's going on. Study your audience. Do they even know who I am or do I need another three months of awareness? Do I need another month of awareness? Last but not least, once you've studied and know where your audience is at in this process, then step up your game. If you need to do more awareness, step up the money you're investing. If you can move, if you know your audience is fully aware of who you are, then definitely step them up to consideration or if you want to take that leap. So step up, step up your budget, step up your focus, step up your narrowness of demographic, and really challenge yourself to walk through these. But I really encourage you, the biggest one is setting proper expectations. You really cannot expect to just convert someone overnight if they haven't gone through this process. When I do a sales uh, meeting, I'm actually walking someone through this entirely. Hey, who do we know in common? Have you heard of us? Da 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 da. What have you considered before? And then in the end, listen, do you want to do business with us? The Facebook ad process walks you through this. These are your options to go there. So check out the Facebook ad manager yourself. Go beyond just boosting. And those are the three major stages of online marketing. So email us your questions. We want to get your business growing. It's about mid-year. So come you know, next month. We want to start hearing reports from you guys of how good you're doing. Ask us any questions you, uh, you want at all. And we look forward to connecting with you guys. Keep sparking lies of explosive significance. Thanks.